hi everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time here welcome to my youtube channel talking mental with rb where i talk on all things mental health related my name is Rashidat Balogu and on today's episode i am going to be talking about insomnia insomnia is a common sleep disorder that can make it hard to fall asleep hard to stay asleep or cause you to wake up early and not be able to get back to sleep Insomnia can sap not only your energy level and mood, but also your health, work performance, and quality of life. The sleep disorder regularly affects millions of people worldwide. Insomnia can be acute, that is short-term, or chronic, that is ongoing. Acute insomnia is common. Common causes include stress at work, family pressures, or a traumatic event. It usually lasts for days or weeks. While chronic insomnia lasts for a month or longer, most cases of chronic insomnia are secondary. This means they are symptoms or side effects of some other problem, such as certain medical conditions, medicines, and other sleep disorders. Substances such as caffeine, tobacco, and alcohol can also be a cause. Sometimes chronic insomnia is the primary problem. This means that it is not caused by something else. Its cause is not well understood, but long-lasting stress, emotional upset, travel and shift work can, can be factors. Difficulty falling asleep at night, sleeping for only short periods, being awake for much of the night, feeling as if you haven't slept at all, waking up too early, daytime tiredness or sleepiness, irritability, depression or anxiety, low motivation or energy, poor concentration and focus, worry or anxiety about sleeping, using medications or alcohol to fall asleep, increased errors or accidents. The most common causes of insomnia are stress, noise, a room that's too hot or cold, uncomfortable beds, poor sleeping habits, travel or work schedule, eating too much late in the evening, mental health disorders, medications, medical conditions, sleep-related disorders, caffeine, nicotine, and alcohol. Even though almost everyone has an occasional sleepless night, your risk of insomnia is greater if you are a woman, that is because of hormonal shift during the menstrual cycle and a menopause may play a role. During menopause, night sweat and hot flashes often disrupt sleep. Insomnia is also common with pregnancy. Secondly, you are at greater risk if you are over the age of 60. Because of changes in sleep patterns and health, insomnia increases with age. Thirdly, you are at greater risk of insomnia if you have a mental health disorder or physical health conditions. This is because many issues that impact your mental or physical health can also disrupt your sleep. Fourthly, you are under a lot of stress. Stressful times and events can cause temporary insomnia and major or long-lasting stress can lead to chronic insomnia. Last but not the least, you don't have a regular schedule. For example, changing shifts at work or traveling. This can disrupt your sleep-wake cycle. Treatments include lifestyle changes, good sleeping habits, counseling, therapy, and prescription medications. You should see a doctor if changing your sleeping habit has not worked. You have had your trouble sleeping for months or your insomnia is affecting your daily life in a way that it makes it hard for you to cope. That's it on today's episode of Talking Mental with RB. I hope this episode was very informative. Please do not forget to share this video to help spread mental health awareness. Please like this video, drop your questions and opinions in the comment section below and subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and bye.